Magandang buhay mga kaibigan. Naritong muli ang inyong matinikatang musikero channel upang magatid na naman ang kaalaman regarding about mathematics. Ang ating pag-uusapan sa session na ito is all about Mathematics of Finance Part 1, Simple Interest. Pero bago ang lahat, bago po tayo magsimula, kung po pwede lamang po kung maaari lang, subscribe na muna ng ating channel. Pakipress ng bell button at ng like button nang sa gayon ay lagi po kayong updated sa aming mga videos. Ngayon ay maaari na nating simula ng ating topic in this session. Why do individuals have to know more about investments, assets, discounts, depreciations, and interest? Why is there a need for them to invest their hard-earned money? Bakit nga ba? Actions, why they invest or save their money until knowing more about interest rates, simple or compound, discount rates, and many more ideas about finance or investment. Like whether an individual just want to save and own something, like buying a camera, a new laptop, or a washing machine, or a husband saving for an anniversary gift to his beloved wife, or a father planning himself to apply for a loan payable in two years with a 5% interest rate so that he can use the borrowed amount of money for his daughter's 18th birthday, or a person is preparing and saving a big amount of money to buy a piece of land in an exclusive subdivision. Gaining more knowledge in business mathematics or studying mathematics of investment may help an individual in decision making, like whether to buy a gadget using a credit card for an 8% compounded monthly within two years or a simple interest basis for a period of one year. Some topics might shed light on which lending investor would give a lower interest rate to borrowers or on which bank would give a higher interest rate for someone's savings. As a young man preparing himself before getting into a married life might plan for his future by understanding stocks or accumulation of funds. These are somehow the main reasons why do individuals must invest their hard-earned money. In this chapter, we will discuss the basic concepts of simple interest simple discount, and compound interest, as well as the straight line method of depreciation. Now, here are some of our objectives. At the end of the chapter, the students would be able to know when use simple interest terminology, Para naman sa ating pangalawang objective, know when interest is paid or earned. For the third one, use the formula for calculating simple interest. Calculate the total value of an investment at the end of a specified term. Manipulate the interest formulas to solve for different variables. Calculate the true interest rate for a loan that has been discounted, compute the amount of the proceeds and determine the maturity value of a discounted loan. Express simple interest rate to its equivalent discount rate and vice versa. Explain the difference between simple interest and compound interest. Calculate the compound interest and compound amount using series of simple interest applications. Calculate the compound amount by using the compound interest formula. Compute for annual depreciation using a straight line method of depreciation. And then determine annual rate of depreciation. Solve for the value or book value of an asset at the end of the nth year. Now, to start with, 
magsisimula tayo regarding about the topic, simple interest. In any business transaction, interest I is defined as the amount paid by a borrower to a lender for a use of money over a period of time, T in years. Interest is defined as, as an expense on the borrower's side while it is an income on the lender's side. Interest that is paid on any transaction is simply known as simple interest. The formula for simple interest is given below. For a simple interest, I is equal to P times R times T. Wherein, ang ibig sabihin ng I is interest earned o ito yung tinatawag nating patubo o kita. P is equal to the principal or present worth invested. Ito yung puhunan. R, annual rate of interest, usually expressed in percent, pero kapag calculation, kailangan naka-express yan into decimal. And then time or T, we call it as the period of time in years na kung saan ang unit e eh, laging lapat Laging dapat nasa years. Kung nasa month yan, kailangan i-convert lang years. Kung nasa days yan, i-convert pa rin into years. Dapat years lagi ang ginagamit nating unit during calculation. Now, let us apply the formula that we have learned. Problem number one. Suppose Marisa wanted to invest an amount of 150,000 pesos for three years at a firm that gives an interest rate of 4% per year. The interest rate was given to Marisa by the firm on the assumption that she is not allowed to withdraw her money within the three-year period. How much is Marisa's earning on the investment after the three-year period? So, magkano nga ba? Yan ngayon ang ating bibigyan ng katugunan at kalutasan. Ang given muna natin, state muna natin isa-isa. The following can be obtained from the problem. P, ito yung ating principal, 150,000 pesos ang na-invest ni Marisa. R, 4%. And kapag yan ay ating kinonvert sa decimal, 0 0.04. Yan ang ating tinatawag na rate of interest. And then time is equal to 3 years. So walang problem. Naka-express na kagad yung time natin in 2 years. So ano ba ang ipinapaanap dito? Actually, ang formula ng simple interest ay is equal to PRT. Ang ipinapaanap dito is actually the kita. Yung simple interest natin. So magkano nga ba ang kikitain? Kapag ang investment? is 150,000 pesos sa loob ng talong taon at may interest rate na 4%. Sa ating kalkulasyon, ang i-value natin is actually equal to 18,000 pesos. From this, we conclude that the investment earned is 18,000 pesos. At yan ngayon ang ating given problem number one. Finally, ang sagot, again, interest is equal to 18,000 pesos. Let us now proceed to problem number two. A two-year loan of 500 pesos is made with 4% simple interest rate. Find the interest earned. So ipinapahanap po dito ang ating I value. Given, the following can be obtained from the problem. P, o ang ating tinatawag na puuna no capital, limang daang piso or 500 pesos. At ang ating rate of interest, 4%. To convert it into decimal, we have 0 0.04. At siyempre, ang ating time is equal to 
two years. Ngayon ay maaari na nating anapin ang value ng ating simple interest. Definitely, ang ating formula na gagamitin ay is equal to PRT. O ang ibig sabihin, interest is equal to principal times the rate times the time. So, simpleng direct substitution process lamang ang ating gagawin para ating mahanap ang ating simple interest amount. I is equal to 500 pesos times 0 0.04 times 2. Ang value na ngayon natin is 40 pesos. From this, we conclude that the investment earned is 40 pesos. At yan ngayon ang ating problem number 2. Na ang sagot natin sa ating inaanap na I value is equal to 40 pesos. Hanggang sa muli, maraming salamat po. God bless us all po. Mabuhay ang bawat kabataang Pilipino. Papuri sa Diyos magpakailanman.